all right now it's time to send uh i mean to display our audio message and play it okay so what we supposed to do is uh, okay first before we do that i realized something wrong with our application okay so you see just what happened it refreshed there okay let me hot restart and show you again what i mean i don't know if you guys have already solved this but uh, let's just fix it right now if you haven't right so i've restarted i don't know why it's taking long i've refreshed okay let's go back then let's get inside here okay so you see if we come back and then get inside here once we click on anything here it's it does that okay let me just do it again so you see what it's doing so that one is uh we, let's fix it it's something that we did in the chat list so we when we wanted to dismiss the keyboard we dismissed it wrongly okay we used this method of uh in vertical scroll the unfocus we added a gesture detector that's what is causing this so instead of doing this here this is not the right way of doing it okay I hope you guys already solved it but if you haven't let's uh, this is how we fix this so let's click on in front here and then click on the light bulb and then remove this widget now the right way to do it is we need to come to the uh, list view here the group to list view and then let's add the on keyboard uh, dismiss okay so let's it's a keyboard dismissible behavior okay so here we, we we can now pick this one okay scroll view keyboard dismissible de behavior on drag this is the right way to call this okay now i'm gonna hot restart again so uh, now that i have hot restarted and then now i can come out of here get in now whatever i do uh, the application is not flickering or refreshing again if we have a keyboard it's going to dismiss on drag okay so that's the correct way of dismissing a keyboard we need to call this method on our list view all right okay so now let's continue so to display our audio message correctly here and play it let's create a separate widget okay because we know this is happening inside our display message where is that display message type okay this is happening here all right uh, when we the case is audio so let's create a separate widget for that so here on the widgets let's right click new dot file let's name this as audio uh what are we going to name it let's name it as a audio player widget okay like that and then here let's create a state for widget let's give it a name audio player widget all right great and then here now let's start creating the method so what we need to pass here is only the url for this audio okay so let's pass a required this dot audio url and then that's it here let's initialize it final audio url like that and then now here let's have some variable so first we are going to need an audio player our package which is a audio audio player package so yeah this will be our audio player and then next we are going to need the duration 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 zero and then we need the another duration for the position yeah so corporate knows what we are doing here and then what we are going to need is a boolean to check if it is playing okay boo is playing okay and then after that now uh before we create what we need to create here let's create uh, the widget here what we are going to show okay so let's remove this and then let's return a raw widget 
So here, let's give it uh, children. Inside the children, the first child we are going to have, it's a, uh, let's put the secular, okay. Uh, let's see what Copilot is doing. All right, that seems to be right. So let's click tab. Okay, so Copilot is doing that. He's putting the audio player and is playing inside here. So why is it getting an error here? A string cannot, okay. So it's calling this wrong. This is called like this. Here we need to say to give it a URL source. Okay. It's called the source URL. Source. Source URL. What is it called? Audio. I think audio source. Audio. Is it? Uh, should be. URL source, yeah, URL source, this one, and then we need to go widget dot audio URL, okay? So let's have a look of, of how, what Copilot did, let's close this here. First, let's have a look of this, and then we'll change it, because we're definitely going to customize this, this is not how I want to look it. So now, this audio player widget, let's go inside the display message type and then here let's go our audio player widget and then we're going to put that message here okay yeah because that's the url and then let's what restart so you can see what copilot has done here that's a basic widget for copilot and uh, we're not going to test it. I'm sure it won't work. Let's go back because I can. Okay, I can see that it's playing, so it it can definitely work. Okay. So, but now this is not what I want. Okay. Uh, let's uh, edit it more. Okay. So first, let's start by this button that Copilot has put here. Okay. So this one, let's put it in a circle avatar, okay? So let's wrap this inside the widget. So let's get the circle avatar. And then this circle avatar will also wrap it inside the widget, okay? Because we want to have something like a... I removed it, okay? Let's add it. Because what I want to create is uh, something like a, a border, okay? So this is in the circle avatar, and then this circle avatar again, let's wrap it with another widget, which is going to be another circle avatar, okay? So this one, let's give it a background. Uh, first, let's give it a radius of about 22. And then the background color, so this, let's give a... Uh, colors let's give it an accent color so let's get the orange accent something like that and then this one let's give it a smaller radius now of about 20 and then yeah now that background is created if we hot restart let's just you, you can see i want something like that okay and then this one let's give it a, also a background color I mean, we were going to give the the icon the background color, okay? So this icon, let's give it a color, which is going to be our primary color, okay? Theme, dot of context. Now here, let's go color scheme, dot primary, all right? Like that. And then what else? Uh, here let's check the way it's checking here if it is playing uh, if it is not playing it's going to play and then if it is and then it's going to set is playing to force okay so this setting of this let's not do them here let's remove this we are going to add listeners okay and then here also let's remove this okay the states okay so now let's have this like like that and then so this play button is done let's hot restart so that we can see the color there so okay what we want to change is this color here okay so this color let's 
cut this. And then this one we want we want it to be colors dot white, okay? And then this background color that's the one that we want to be primary, okay? Let's uh, call the background color. Let's just copy this for time saving. Let's copy that and then paste that, all right? Let's hot restart again. Okay, Ooh, that's I want something like that, okay? So that's why I put the border just to check that uh, there is a button there. Or if we want, we can just put it a different color, maybe secondary here, just to differentiate it there, okay? Yeah, even something like that, okay? So now that is done, let's move on to the slider. So the slider uh, here, let's have a, so we have a max value. Let's also have a minimum, which can be 0, 0.0. 0, 0.0 and then the unchanged here let's seek where we can put this but all this let's just create uh, the, the own their own methods okay and then on the text here what we want to put is uh, let's format this text to our own format okay we are going to create that method on top so let's uh, what we can do is let's remove that and then let's say format let's name it as a format time we are going to format the time the way we want it here we have to put uh, the duration and then minus the position of the slider okay we're just going to be reducing this time here and then also let's put some style so uh, this style it's also it's going to be just a textile and then we're going to put the font size here so 16 i think 16 will be okay not not 12. then it has put an extra bracket let's just remove it so this one will create a method for this and then let's add the const modifier here okay and then this color of the text uh, if it's white it won't be seen in the other widget for this side okay so what we can do here Okay, we can decide what to do here, but we can check also if if it's our widget, we can put white. If it's another widget, we can do the other way. So for now, let's keep it like this, and then let's create some things, uh, some functions that we need up here. This unchanged, let's create uh, the own method to seek, okay? So now up here, let's create the methods. So here let's uh, put our init state and then so here now init state first let's listen for the play state okay so let's have a comment uh, see if copilot will help us listen for the change state and then let's see great copilot is doing exactly what we want okay so you can see that audio play added on play state change here that's when we are going to set this is playing is paused okay so this method it's called playing like that and then this one is called paused like that this one is called completed like that okay so here we are listening for the play state change and then next let's listen for the changes of the duration okay so copilot is going to do everything for us here okay it knows what we are doing so here we is uh, no we don't want to okay here yeah of course we want to listen for the position of the change but this method is not called like audio position change it's called as a uh, on position change yeah like that one and then we are going to set the position to the current position which is there okay so let's change this to a new position okay and then let's copy that and put it to the position which is there okay next let's uh, listen for the the duration okay so here yeah it says duration let's click on tab okay great so even here now on duration change is going to set it to the new duration okay 
So that's what we need to do in, in its debt. That's where we are sitting is playing to true and to false. We are listening for the place to change, the position change, and the duration change, okay? And then down here now, let's create that method to use the slider to seek, okay? So it also wants to create the method to format time. Okay, maybe let's start with that. So let's click tab. So here, uh, it wants to retain uh, eight positions. We, we only want to, to retain two positions, okay? So let's remove this and then let's have a string first. String, let's say two. Uh, okay, let's do two positions, yeah, like this. Two digits, I mean, not position, two digits. And then we're going to return the string like that. And then after that, let's have the hours. So final hours. Final hours, this will be equal to two digits. Okay, copilot now knows what we want here. So let's just let it do everything. So we have the minutes and then we have uh, the seconds, okay? Like that. And then after we do that, we're just going to check now. We return, uh, yeah, we don't want to return like that. We need to have a check. So let's create a list like that. And then inside here, let's do if. Okay, now we want to check if duration. First, let's go if. Now here we will check if a duration. Let's do duration dot in hours. Okay, now that's what we want. If duration dot in hours is equal to zero, we are going to return these hours, minutes, and seconds, and then join. Okay. So that's all. That's how we do this format time which is here all right now let's uh, do the other method of seeking with this okay this one let's just say void seek to position all right okay here copilot has done for us but uh, this is a double so let's change this to double and then uh, here, let's go. Uh, let's remove what it has done here. Let's do uh, final new position, and then duration dot second seconds to int like that. That's what how we want to do it. And then in the end here, we need to await. Okay. So let's put this as asynchronous. We need to avoid the audio player seek and then we are sitting to that new position, all right? Great. So now we come down here on the unchanged year. We just need to call our seek new position, okay? And then, yeah, that's all. I think that's all we need to do here. Yes. I hope I wasn't too fast. So this will be our widget now. It's customized, not like what Copilot was showing us. So let me restart again. All right, uh, that looks about right. Now maybe let's change this to something like 12 so that we can put it smaller. And then also the other change is uh, here when we uh, seek to position, maybe we can just uh, resume, okay, await audio player dot resume okay like that so let's try to hot restart again okay let's wait for it maybe it's still loading okay okay yeah it's still loading let's get inside there and then now if we play So if we seek, it's going to resume, okay? Okay. So I hope you can hear that audio, you guys, okay? So that's it about uh, this audio message. But before we continue, first, before we end this video, I mean, let's go to the bottom chat field, okay? So here where we are sending the a file message, can see that on success we are sending this sending audio to force okay we are putting this sending audio to force okay 
so i don't think we're even using the, okay yeah we are using it here and then where else are we using it so okay we since we are checking it we are checking also on this button okay so what we'll do is uh, here on success we are setting it to false we should also set it to false on error message okay yeah so let's not forget to also set it to false when we have error so that uh, you can reuse you can use this button again okay so now also inside uh, inside this send file message you can see that here when we are starting we are setting the loading to true and then also we don't need to call notify here because we're already calling it inside this method okay uh, here we are calling that notif uh, notify changes okay so you can see that on this message send file message we are setting this to true even here we are setting it to true okay so you just remove the notify change here we just need it like that okay so remember to call that to force okay so i i can see that in the handle contact message we are calling that let's go to this method here we are calling this to force only on the success okay but let's also do that on failure let's copy that and paste it here so this is a one important thing that we forgot to do okay so we, sh we sh also need to set it to force when it's failed so that the user can use it use the buttons again okay and then that's about it that's just a few changes that we need to do okay then that's it so the sending audio message is done in the next video we have to deal with uh, sending the video here so this was our audio and the next we'll work on sending we'll create also another widget for the video player so that's it guys and uh, thank you see you in the next video